Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Morning Inspiration with Just Jocelyn. <laughs> I am so, 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 so psyched, so excited to see you guys on this morning. Let's go ahead and go into God's Word. Woo All right, y'all. So uh, before I go into God's Word, as you can see, I have my yes. Yes, Schoolhouse Rock vote shirt on. Yes, 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 yes. Please, if you have not voted, go ahead and do it. I know in Tennessee, we got early voting going on right now in Memphis, Shelby County. Woo, woo, woo. So please get down to the polls. Um, hopefully, if you did absentee voting, awesome, great job. Um, but if you did not, y'all, um, it was actually pretty cool. I went down there and voted, and it did not take a long time. I mean, I got down there. Uh, went on in of course your social di distancing they asked that you do wear your mask went in there voted came on out that was that so please exercise your right as a citizen to go ahead and vote and make sure that your voice is heard yes all right so anyway let's go to god uh, word. all right so um looking at this scripture and uh, this scripture is actually within uh, the 40 days of prayer. It's an amazing study by Rick Warren. If you'd like to go and study that, um, I'm telling you, it's going to be a blessing. Um, and so let me look and see. Okay, so Romans 12, verse 1, and it says this. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, your eating, you're going to work, you're walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Again, he said, take your everyday, ordinary life, you're sleeping, you're eating, you're going to work, you're walking around life, place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Man, that's a blessing. And that's really kind of like a teaching moment for us. I was always uh, taught about worship. And one of the things that I um, thought worship was was just you singing at church. It was just you, you know, just praising God uh, thanking God for who he is and what he's done. And worship is, that is a portion of it. But us as Christians, we are to live our lives as a worship to God. And the way we do that is by offering to him, like it says right here in the word, our sleeping, our eating, our going to work, our walking around, our shopping at the grocery store for toilet paper and alcohol. <laughs> Everything we do should be offered up to him as an offering, everything. Our lives should not be dual. And um, not to say that we're going to be perfect because nobody is going to be perfect. The simple fact of the matter that we, uh, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins is because we are sinners. We are sinners saved by grace. We are not saved people who are now perfect, click, click, and have no issues. No, no no, we are sinners saved by grace. And it's when we recognize that, it keeps us humble. Amen? And so what he's asking for us to do is to offer up our lives to him. Give him every portion of our lives. Um, I would even go as far as to say that when he says embrace what God has done for you um, as the best thing is you can do for him, I would go as far as to say, like, let's say that you meet somebody and, um, you know, and they're going through a hard time, share with them your testimony. Let them know what you've been going through. Let them know what God has done for you. Don't just let it be, a, oh, I would talk to her, but I ain't at church. Oh, man, I would share my testimony, but right now I'm at the Walgreens. I'm trying to get this right here. No, this right here passage says that the best thing you could do for God, more than you trying to overly give a whole bunch of tithes that you don't have, and let me talk about that. So it does say bring the tithes into the storehouse. But I do believe that that 10 percent, if you trust in God with that 10 percent or like this church that, um, that I, I've been attending uh, lately um, and the pastor, uh, he talks about uh, giving your 5 percent as you're growing in a tithe giver. Uh, I'm all for that. I mean, I know God wants us to give. Um, so that his ministry can be done. But I do not believe that God would want you to harm yourself. And so saying all that to say, give him your life. 
you might not be able to give the full tithe right now, but you can uh, give him your sleeping. You can give him your eating. You can give him your walking around. You can give him time. <laughs> you can give him time. And that's the best thing that really that he wants from us for today. And so, you guys, I'm going to get on out the way. But, again, that was our inspiration from uh, Romans chapter 12 and 1. And uh, it's encouraging us to give God our everyday life. So try that today. Give him your everyday life. Give him while you're at work. Give him while you are are running or walking or playing with your kids. Give him that special time. And I guarantee you um, that's the best thing you can do and he's going to show up. All right. So uh, what I want to do really quickly uh, for a little inspirational moment um, I have an amazing friend who, uh, man, he and his wife are truly a blessing. And their kids are really a blessing. And so he just released an album uh, that came out. Uh, it's called uh, Sober Love. Uh, it is underscore Corey Curtis. And so I asked him to just give me like a little minute of something. Oh, y'all, his album is so inspirational. It is also on uh, Apple Music. It's on Spotify. Uh, please, uh Holla at your boy. <laughs> Check him out. And he is going to be actually, um, his word is what we're going to use. Um, his song is going to end out today. And so I'm going to go ahead and go to God in prayer. God, we thank you so much for your love, Lord God. We thank you that you desire to be in every part of our lives. We thank you, Lord God, that that is the most uh, awesome thing that we can do from you is worship you with our lives. And so, God, we love you. We thank you. We pray for those who don't know you, Lord God. I pray right now, Lord God, that someone who was watching this show, Lord God, they might not know you, God. I pray, Lord, that they would confess that they are sinners, Lord God, that they confess that you are Jesus. Jesus Christ, uh, the son of the living God, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that they believe that you died on the cross for their sins and that they receive you so that they might have life and have it more abundantly on this day. And God, I thank you for those who have received you and I'm thanking you so much that they are now part of the body of Christ. God, we love you. We thank you and do pray in Jesus name. Amen. (laughs) I now give you the talented and awesome Corey Curtis. out of certain circles like I should be more involved but there's some things that I'm still working through being born in the heart of the ghetto with shots clapped through the air like round of applause and when that sound dies down trauma still hangs around have me peeking through the curtains like cousins from out of town heavy thoughts and meditation have it looking like I'm frowning or something I'm just trying to see my later right now that's faith gotta believe it even though it's not right in my face once I receive it gotta keep it I need all the grace that's the ability to do it the way that he say, and plus the energy and patience to keep with his pace. These human tendencies keeping me on my face, keeping me in his will, keeping me in my place, keeping me calm without spazzing and being a disgrace, and keep me with the state of mind that I'll see better days. Yeah, because I'm searching for better, and it got to get better. <laughs> 